Hi everybody, it's Monica and um, I'm here with this plant again that I was uh, talking to you guys about the other day and I just uh, wanted to talk about cutting a plant. Um, years ago, I had this experience where I was um, working for somebody and she asked me to go cut some ivy in her yard and I was like in my early 20s and, and I was like, oh my God, what's it like to be cut? Is it, is it painful? Is it a problem? Does it create um, something for the ivy that I wouldn't like? And so I went outside and I just asked the ivy, I was like, okay, I have to cut you. And if there's anything that would like to be cut, could you just let me know? And if anything wouldn't like to be cut, could you let me go? No. And then I just started going for it. Um, and it was amazing. Like uh, there would be moments where my hands would just stop. I've, I've told this story a bunch, and so maybe you've already heard it, but it blew my mind. Um, just that, just asking that could give me that information. And, and then in the years since then, I've like, read a lot of um, books about pruning and stuff like that because I'm a big nerd but also because it's amazing it's like you can actually if you cut a plant with an awareness of the plant you can actually strengthen it and then also if you cut a plant without being aware of the plant you can um, kill it <laughs> or you can make it have a really hard time um but so if you're somebody who likes to garden but is a little bit uncertain or insecure or feel like you don't know what you're doing um i just wanted to say that the cool thing about this and like with the story that i started telling you is that it's a process, like you can just start. And you know, the worst thing that will happen is the plant dies. And that's really not the end of the world. And there are a lot of really simple things that you can do so that the plant doesn't die, so that it actually gets stronger. But no matter what it is that you do, as you're doing it, you get to discover more and more about what it, what it means to tend to something, um, what what you might be picking up on in all sorts of unexpected ways, and you get to have more of a, a creation with something that's not a person, um, and then you get to see it flower and thrive and grow from your care, and that can actually care for you. Um, so one thing that I just wanted to say is when you are, well, there are about a billion things that I could say about cutting plants back. People have all sorts of points of view about the right ways to do it and the wrong ways to do it. And it doesn't really matter what somebody else says if you, um, if you don't go for it. <laughs> Um, and the more you go for it, the more you begin to be aware of how you go about it. And so for me, when I look at a plant, I'll just ask, is there anything here that I could cut that would actually strengthen the plant? And then I've just experimented. Um, and sometimes I get no. <laughs> And sometimes I get like, oh, wow, the moment I ask the question, I, my attention goes to some part of the plant that I can tell, oh, it's kind of dead over there. Or it's um, something seems off and maybe I have plant language for it and maybe I don't. And then I've just gone ahead and cut whatever I got the sense I should cut and then just watched it, you know? 
Um, and then seeing like, oh, that's how it responded. Either it responded really quickly or not so quickly. And, um, and it's not the end of the world, no matter what goes on. But um, it's funny, as I was thinking about um, just making a short little video about how cutting your plants can strengthen them, I was driving around in Denver and I saw some roses um, that were cut like a square. They were rose bushes. And all I could think was like, not like that. Because they, it was like somebody came in and they had this idea of what they needed to do, but they weren't actually being present with the rose bush at all. And so it was funny because you could see that like, really, they looked like, the bushes looked like squares, but parts of them were dead. Um, and it's just, I'm, I'm always curious, like, what would it be like if all of the people in the world who had gardening jobs actually were willing just to, like, ask the plants and listen to the plants in whatever ways that shows up for them? Um, then, like, how many blossoms would we have like how what would the fruit be doing what like how would our world be blooming um if we had more people caring about their plants just by engaging and asking questions and um again like i said you know like no matter what, if you start to work with a plant and even if it dies, it's okay, <laughs> you know? Um, as long as you stay engaged, you get more and more information and it may be what you need to discover to realize, oh, I knew that that plant didn't need more water and I kept watering it and then it just died. Or, oh, I could tell that that plant needed some more water and I didn't do it and then it died or whatever it is. But actually, um, plants are much more resilient than you might think. And um, I do like to do a lot of energetic work with plants and I have some pretty amazing stories and experiences of plants that should have been dead just like miraculously coming back to life and um and i and i would love to talk to people more about that um because i'm greedy and i want to see more uh vibrant plants in the world and then also just because uh plants have such a huge impact on our bodies and on the environment on like you know oxygen exchange but then also like all of these other more subtle resonances in the world and i i would love for there to be more happy healthy plants and people who are like excited to be tending the world so I'm going to keep on talking about this and just keep on playing with this plant. There have been some more leaves that have dropped today. And so I'm going, I may cut some different parts back, but I'm just kind of taking it slowly and cutting a little bit and seeing what it does and just, you know, enjoying it for, for what it is. And so grateful that it is the facilitator that's reminding me to talk to you all out there in the world about plants. All right, until the next time, thank you all and have fun.